Hello Carpologists, I'm Luke. And I'm Joe. And here you meet us at Carp Zwolle in Holland. Of course, and we've never been to this show before. This is actually your second ever show in general. It, second show, first time in Holland. So, uh, baptism no by fire. Now, we actually got here on Thursday evening. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of a, a, a backstory to the whole trip is obviously if you're coming to Zwolle, we want to well, show this as a first time experience of coming to Carp Zwolle, what it's got on offer. Um, I do have personal connections with Holland, my girlfriend's Dutch, so we have been staying with yeah. uh, family, which is why some of the clips you're going to see to catch you up with what we've been up to involves some of those. It's a bit of a general video about not only Zwolle, but first time, well, not first time for you in Holland, but mm -hmm. just the whole experience and what, what is available around the area. What's to offer? Yeah, a bit, a bit of touristy stuff, and this could be a perfect lads holiday with this being the main hub of the uh, whole holiday, but you can just experience a lot of other countries because everything's so close. Holland's a small country on the whole. So an hour and a half one way you're in Germany, an hour and a half another you're in Belgium. So, so we've done five countries in 24 hours, yes. didn't we? So obviously we started in the UK, Euro Tunnel straight across, nice and easy. Got that all booked up a little way in advance, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Came straight over to France, drive through Belgium, straight into Holland. And then Friday we ended up going for a breakfast in Germany. Breakfast in uh, Germany, yeah, in Kranenburg. Lovely uh, breakfast at Dirk's uh, Bakery there. Yeah. It's very enjoyable. And then we headed over to uh, Nijmegen, to the well, the, one of the towns, a very old town, yeah. had a wander around there, which is really nice to see. And then uh, a few uh, drinks in the evening as well. And that is pretty much you all caught up. Yeah. So we're going to dive in. We've only had a brief look through. We found somewhere quiet to do an intro, but this place from the offset is huge. Yeah, I think, is it five halls in total? Five halls. We've literally just wandered into the second and already it seems massive. Pretty worn out. So There's already a buzz and it's only half past nine in the morning. So we're going to get cracking, walking around, see what there is to see. Probably talk to a few of the people on different stands, why they come to Zwolle and why they think you should probably come. And hopefully we just enjoy it. And of course, drinks later on, Amsterdam tomorrow. It's a big holiday. Yeah. But this is work. Mate, Zwolle for me is definitely the best show in Europe. Not just for the amount of brands that are represented here, but for the whole vibe and especially the nightlife. The gangways here are nice and wide and in the UK there's pretty much nothing that compares with maybe the exception of uh, Nas. But yeah, for me, the best show in Europe. Thank you for Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend. You too. See you later. I absolutely love this show. I've been coming here for about 12 to 13 years now and there's just a great atmosphere and buzz. You know, if you do an English show, you meet all English people. You do a French show, you meet all French people. But when you come to Zwolle, there is literally people from all over Europe coming here. And that's the great thing about it. You bump into someone, you start a conversation. You don't even know which country they're from. Um, like I say, I've been coming here for a long time now. Gonna look forward to every trip coming up for the forthcoming years. Um, the nightlife, out of hand. Um, I've had many, many, many a big party. So much so that you avoid all sleep, you come in looking really draggled and horrible. But last night I actually went fishing, because as well as good party life, there's also some great fishing in the area. We had some really mild temperatures, found some local park lakes, and uh, yeah, managed to catch a few bream. So that's what you do when you come to Holland. But no, love Zwolle. You can see just around you just uh, how great the buzz is, how great the atmosphere is. If you've not been out, can't recommend it enough, come and check it out one day. Uh, for all the guys that attend, it's one of the best shows of the year, you know, we love the UK shows, but it's one of something special, you get people coming from all over Europe, I spoke to a guy driven from Russia today, um, the nightlife's brilliant, everybody gets together at the end of the day, tries not to get too drunk because, you know, we've got to come back to work the following day, but it's definitely a highlight, so I'm looking forward to later on getting out and catching up with a few other people in town. Right, so I'm Steve from Kumu, stood over in Carp Swallow this weekend. Absolutely brilliant show, it's our second year of, of being here. It's just a completely different scene to the UK, so many different brands. 
and it's just it's just a real thrill to be here basically I'd say there's probably about 40,000 people over this weekend I say we're not that well known over here at the moment so it's a really good opportunity to get get the brand out there and see how to see by by the Dutch public so yeah so it's been a brilliant weekend so far great to meet all the all different people and uh, yeah it's just been a been a great weekend so far really busy today and we've got one more day of it to go so yeah it's been spot on Well, we've been walking around for, what, a good two and a half hours now? Yeah. Nearly three hours, and we've only just discovered there's a, another hangar that we completely missed. So this place is just vast. And the fact we've barely stopped as well in those few hours. We've got a bit of filming in different stalls and different stands. And we're just about to enter into, I'm guessing, Hall 5, which is just as big as all the rest. So there you go. Another massive hole. So for me, the Swallow Carp Show is my favourite show. It's the biggest and best carp show in Europe. There are so many exhibitors here. It's great to see so many people. And also, the nightlife is exceptional. Hi guys. Yeah, I'm in Zwolle and um, I'm not very often here. This is the second time for me and I must say, yeah, Zwolle is the place to be. Here you, you, you see all the big names from the carp scene and yeah it's nice and I come back. Okay welcome to Zwallow, this is probably one of the most amazing carp shells in the world. You've got all sorts of brands here, you've got people selling carping tanks, bait boats, you've got Ridge Monkey here, we're doing our new products. Calder, Fox, Delkin, everyone who's anyone is at this show. And not only that, if you want to come here, you can come and stay in Holland for the weekend, make a bit of a holiday. You're right, mate. Make a bit of a holiday out of it and uh, stay the weekend. There's lots of English guys here that I see back home at the other shows of Dan, going out in the evenings and coming around the show in the day. It's an excellent show. I'm David, I'm um, here on the JSC booth uh, on Carp uh, It's Saturday now, so there's one more day to go and it's been absolute pleasure to speaking uh, to so many people, so many enthusi enthusiastic people always. Uh, there's a lot of energy uh, on this show uh, and that's something you can actually really feel. So it's great to speak about uh, you know, how uh, the products that they bought last year, people come to you and say, oh, it was wonderful, you know, what's the new stuff for this year? Plenty of stuff, by the way, but um, it's always a brilliant show, uh, and uh, you know it's it's you know it's work, but it never feels like work. It's always good to be here, uh, being a carp angler myself as well. So uh, come and check it out if you ever have a chance to go to Cup Ball. This is going to be a very casual uh, update of the video because we are now out in town. We are indeed. First day as well it was absolutely manic, as uh, I'm sure Luke will agree. Yeah, it was a bit full on, wasn't it? But uh, very much enjoyable. We'll get her again tomorrow, but tonight, a few drinks out in our local town. And, uh, yeah, let your hair down, Try and recover a little bit. Evening everyone. Evening. And uh, sorry for the shaky phone footage, but we have now uh, put the cameras down and come out for the night, which is another big part of Zwolle. Yeah. Well, near well, Zwolle. We're camping, is it? Camping this camping. place is, which is so not far from Zwolle. 10, 15 minutes from Zwolle. And uh, as you can probably tell, we've already had a drink or two. <laughs> but uh, this is another part of coming out here. You get to experience the nightlife. 
uh, meet a lot of the people that you're going to recognise that the shows are going to be out in town. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much what we're doing tonight. So it's going to be local towns as well, isn't it? So mm -hmm. Probably a little bit different to England, which is quite nice. Already a bit of phone footage, maybe some decent footage if we can be bothered. We have got a camera. So that's about it. Let's hope we hang on to that. Let's stop there before we embarrass ourselves. <laughs> Morning all. Morning. We are now at, uh, well, the final day of Zwolo. This is our second day here. Mm. Sheltering in the car because the weather is much worse than it was yesterday. We didn't really fancy queuing outside. Yeah, but, pretty uh, grim, isn't it? Doors should have just opened, so yeah. we're going to make our way in. And uh, yesterday was so full on. Um, I really would recommend if you came here, get a weekend ticket or at least yeah. two days. Yeah, you got to do the whole weekend. One day is not enough. Yeah, I, I think there's still parts that we we haven't explored, and mm -hmm. we've definitely definitely got to go around with the cameras again and get more footage. So it's, yeah. just, it's just so vast. There's mm -hmm. five halls absolutely rammed with different companies and products, and just yeah, no time to see it. Mm -hmm. Always there. Last night was good fun. We uh, went out into a local town, met with a few of the lads from uh, Nash actually, yep. and just had a few drinks. Um, some of us drank a few too many. We don't need to go into that. But, uh, we won't go into that, but Luke's feeling a little bit sore today. I'm so, uh, absolutely fine. I've got my coffee, so I'm fine. Let's uh, head on in and um, walk it off. I think so. Hi, I'm Andy from Navitas. We're here at Carp Zuola. Uh, we're having a great show. We've been having a good time. We're very tired. We've been on our legs for like three days straight. Uh, we bought some really good products to our friends for the Germans and the Belgians and the Holland guys that are here. It's a once a year chance for us to see some of our customers. We really love doing it. We've got a really sore throat now though. Um, we're very tired. We've got to catch the ferry back tonight, pack all of this lovely stand up and all these wonderful products and maybe get a couple of hours sleep. And hopefully we're going to see you guys next year. Thanks for checking us out. Welcome to the Zwolle Show. And why are we here, it's obvious, it's the biggest, biggest show ever. Uh, well, I think there were 10,000 yesterday, they're due 8,000 today, and I think most of them have visited the dynamite stand while I've been here, which is why I'm very cautious. But all joking aside, if you're not here, you should be here. Boys, if you want to come over to Zwolle, uh, it is a right laugh. The buzz here is brilliant. You'll see a load of kit that you don't see in the UK, a load of the boat work stuff that we just don't use over there. If, you, if you're a European angler and you've not been to Zwolle, then you need to get over here. Obviously, you're going to see the same sort of stuff from us as you're going to see in the UK, but it's all those other stands and going out in the evenings with all the boys and having a bit of a piss up and, you know, that all really makes it. Loads of people come and do that and have a right good time, so get yourself over here. Well, it's the last day of Zwolle 2020, and once again, it hasn't disappointed. It truly is the carp fishing show, the mecca of carp fishing, if you like, when it comes to exhibitions. This is where everyone comes, and it is a wonderful experience because you get to meet people from all across Europe that love the same thing as I do. So if you didn't make it this year, make sure you do for next year. Hi guys, I'm Tristan from Waff Clothing. Uh, we are at the Zwolle Show. Uh, it's been a few years since we've been trying to get a place here and I'm happy to say that finally we've managed to get a stand. 
and it hasn't disappointed. It's been absolutely mental here so far. It's Sunday now, we've already had two full days and yeah, as I said, it's been absolutely unreal. I can't wait for next year and uh, yeah, we look forward to it. Hello guys here at Carp Swallow. We are here especially with the carp specialists. You can book here some fish holidays. Uh, really nice here. We have a lot of things for you. We have, we have for carp fishes. We also have for uh, catfish. We have sturgeon. We have everything here. Just come and check us out, please. So we've come to the end of our trip here in Holland and it's been a pretty manic weekend. Absolutely flown by. Just as I said, I thought it would, mm -hmm. it just it blitzed by. We've got about an extra half an hour spare until we've got to make a move yep. back down to uh, Calais and back across. But your first trip to Holland as well? Yeah, it's been quite an experience. It's, it's been so full on. I'm still trying to process everything that's happened this weekend. Process the food as well. Always yeah. eat well when you're out here. Yeah. Uh, whether that's because we've been staying with uh, Mario's family, I'm not sure, but very do hospitable. Over here. Yeah. Exactly. That's one thing you find from the Dutch people and over here. Very hospitable. Mm. So many people speak uh, English already because they're not yes. as ignorant as us, I don't think, in learning languages. So everyone seems to speak it. So uh, if you're worried about language barriers, there is oh, there's, really well. there's been no issues at all. I mean, obviously, you've got kind of Dutch relations, but mm -hmm. I, I don't at all. I don't speak any Dutch at all. Um, and it hasn't been a problem so far and obviously we're at the end of the trip so it's been absolutely mm -hmm. fine. And uh, so yesterday, just to give you a bit of a recap, we was obviously at the show once again, whizzing around all morning. It is vast, so we, we did the Saturday and Sunday tickets which come in at 13 euros each, so I'll uh, do the maths, I think it came out as two tickets each. I think it was uh, for 46 days, quid, was four, About it? 46 pounds, yeah. so that's, that's the rough ballpark, but we could easily have done every single day and still had stands you hadn't seen. Yeah, I, I think you if you're coming out here, if you're spending the time and the money to come out here, well worth doing two days, if not, if not doing the three days, I think, because it is so vast. There's so many little stands that are hidden away. Ones that even on the way out, we were coming across thinking, yeah. I haven't seen that yet. So it is huge. And it's a great way to network as well. Obviously, yeah. we're in the industry, so we know quite a lot of the people on stands, but everyone is so welcoming and friendly. Like, if you want to just go and say hello to people you watch on YouTube all the time or, or read in magazines, they're all there. Everyone's up for a chat and uh, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what your language, everyone's there for the same reason. It's such a great vibe. In I was going to say there's a certain vibe about the place. It's mm -hmm. completely different to English shows. Just, I think everyone's up for a good time, really. Yeah. And just the size of it is it's trying to get your head around how big the show is. I've been to the big one, uh, Brentwood, Sanders, or Sandown, I think it's called, a few of them, and yeah, it, it's just far bigger. But, uh, and also while you're there, parking, a huge parking car yeah, park there. Nice and easy on the both days. 10 euros for the day. So that's obviously another expense you want to factor in. And food, you're looking at 
Food about drink, 10 euros about a day again. 10 euros a day. So yeah. it isn't that expensive if you think about it for, the, for what the show is and what it has to offer. No, it's worth obviously mentioning the uh, Euro Tunnel as well. Yes. So we booked it, what, two or three weeks in advance, was it? We did. And for, for both there and back, it was £150. £150. So if you think that obviously there's a few of us came here today or for this trip, if you and a, a two or three mates split that, that's so much cheaper than getting flight seats. And then you've got your vehicle over here to go and do local sightseeing. And uh, it just, it's probably very cost effective. Fuel was probably, again, 100 to 150 pounds. Yeah, I'd say it's a couple of tanks of fuel. Obviously, I've, I've got diesel, which is getting about 500 miles a tank. Yes. And we've done, it's going to be about 1,000 miles by the time we get back. So you do the mass, it's two tanks, maybe two and a bit with all the bit of driving around. Mm -hmm. You're splitting that with mates. Again, it keeps the cost down. And uh, it's, it's just a great way of visiting another country and uh, exploring, because again, Following on from the show, we then went to Amsterdam again, your first experience. First time in Amsterdam, yeah, and uh, like you say, experience, it, it was uh, pretty yeah. different to, if, I mean, if you haven't been to Amsterdam, it's very different to anything you'll see anywhere else in the world, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, but it's one of them things that if you are over here, if you're coming over for the, for the show, it's well worth checking out. Definitely. So it's not just about experiencing the show. You can go around and see loads of different places as well, a bit of touristy. That's, I hope, what's come across on this video is that we've been very much a holiday Obviously, I've got the, the personal ties of Holland with family over here, so we've been, the spare time has been with family and seeing things like that. But if you weren't doing that, you could just as easily bring your fishing rods and do a couple of days fishing on. As you can see, we're right next to water. There's there is water, water everywhere. everywhere. Wherever you drive, literally just looking out the window, there's either lakes or canals or rivers or just water absolutely everywhere. Um, you know a bit more about getting the, the permits and that sort of thing. Yeah, so Vispass, uh, obviously, if you don't want to get fined because there are big fines over here and out fishing with that one. Uh, Vispass, easy to get one online. You can't do day tickets like we do in the UK, but uh, I think something like 40 euros for the year. So uh, it's, it's best to cover yourself. But obviously, if you want to risk it, at your own peril. But that pretty much concludes our trip to Holland. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know obviously your first experience, you've yeah. enjoyed it as well. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. A massive show and hopefully we'll be back again mm -hmm. sometime next year. Maybe see you guys there. If not, see you in the UK. Yeah, but, uh, for more content like this, obviously make sure you subscribe to us. Comment below the sort of things you want to see us do and where you want us to go. Um, and obviously Facebook, Instagram, all of that stuff. Yeah. Cheers for watching. I will see you again soon. Yeah, see you later.